take care of your knees in just a few minutes a day with this short, easy chair Pilates workout. We'll be building strength and supporting muscles around the knees while simultaneously improving your posture and your balance. Make sure you have your chair ready to go nearby and let's go ahead and get started. I'm Hannah Ray. We'll start off sitting on the floor if that's comfortable for you. So you can go ahead and extend your legs out in front of you. And if you'd like, I really enjoy doing this perched up on a bolster or cushion so the legs can be fully relaxed. All we're gonna do here is place the hands right above the knees and give some little taps. And as you tap, I want you to see if you can firm that muscle, almost like you're gonna lift your kneecap up towards you. You should feel that muscle firm under your fingers. And then go ahead and relax it and tap it to make sure it's relaxed. So it's really important for all the exercises we're about to do that we build this awareness. So we're gonna stay here for just a little longer. Go ahead and keep practicing. Really nice, hopefully you were able to feel that sensation. You can go ahead and grab your chair now and just have a seat perched a little bit forward towards the edge of the chair. We're gonna extend one leg, giving a tap to make sure those same muscles are turning on, and then very slowly place it down. We'll stay on this same leg for now so you can really feel where that is. Don't be afraid to kind of dig in there. Turning the muscle on every time the leg lifts and letting it turn off every time you bend. This is a great moment to check in with your posture, your breathing, make sure that that's all where you want it to be. And we'll switch and practice that on the other side. Go ahead and continue on your own. Really good, just a few more here. And you can definitely go at your own pace, especially if that activation's a little hard for you to feel. All these exercises today are really about building awareness as much as they are about building strength. So go at whatever pace works for you. Both feet on the ground now, hands on the knees, you can press up to standing and then sit right back down. So believe it or not, it's so simple, but this is an exercise. I really want you to watch your own alignment. It's okay to look down if you need to. Knees right over the second and third toe. And again, the hands can be on the knees, one for a little guidance and support for your alignment, but also so you can feel are those muscles that we've been working on activating. Excellent. On this next one, I just want you to sit almost all the way down and you can reach your arms in front of you as a little counterbalance and then press back up to standing. So we've taken away the support of the hands on the knees. Of course, you can still use it if you need to. And we're just going down to almost sit in that chair, making sure the knees are still over the toes and then activate those muscles. Press back up just two more times like that on your own. Nicely done. After that last one, just sit with control back in your chair. Beautiful. And you can scooch a little bit forward. So you're sitting on the edge of your seat. We're gonna do a version of what we did before. So knee lifts, leg extends, leg bends, and it comes back down. A little more coordination this time. You can always peek at the screen if you wanna see me. It's really just the same thing as before. We're, we're adding a knee lift and a knee lower before and after that extension. Still looking to feel our posture tall and those muscles in the front of the legs activated. And we're alternating legs this time. So make sure you do one leg and then the other. Last time, wherever you are, activate those muscles. And then we have two options for a little rest. One is you can just lean back oh, against the back of your chair. The other is you could fold forward and let your spine dangle over your legs. I love this one, so I'm gonna stay here. We'll all just breathe and rest together for a moment. All right, coming out of that rest, you can stand up with control and we'll all walk to the back of our chair. And if you don't have a chair with a back, you could use a table or even a wall nearby. We just want to lift and then very slowly lower the heels, feeling for that engagement of the thighs right above the kneecaps. So as the heels lower, imagine your kneecaps could lift up 
into the air, getting a little two-way stretch, heels down, kneecaps up. A few more times on your own, keep it slow, keep it controlled. Shifting all your weight onto the right foot now, just pop that left foot up behind you and take a little balance. You can tap your hands to the back of the chair or the wall, whatever you're using. We're gonna try to keep the hips square here. And if the balance is really hard for you, you can always just rest the toe on the mat instead of picking the leg up fully. So really go with whatever works for you. We're building all the stabilizing muscles in the hips, thighs, hamstrings, calf, and ankle with this. So even though we're holding still, there's a lot going on. Let's try that same thing on the other side. Shake it out, and here we go. Excellent, let that go. Come back to weight on both legs. We're gonna go back to that same heel lift and lower and maybe this time you'll let your hands release from the chair and do it for a little balance. This might be quite a bit more difficult. So of course you can always come back to the chair if you need to. Last lift, beautiful work. That is it for today. You are all done. Come back to this again and again to nourish your knees, build your awareness and your strength. And of course, if you want to work out with me some more, I have a link down in the description to some of my online classes. I'd love to see you. And if you want to support our channel making more videos like this, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps us so much. Thank you and I'll see you next time on the mat.